So hi there, welcome to lesson two. Here we will be looking at minimum, mean, and maximum. And we use them a lot with continuous variables, which we have started working, I mean, discussing in this particular module. We had already explained continuous variables, so I don't think you should have a problem. If you have not seen uh, the lecture on that, you can go back to module one. So we're not going to dwell so much on what a continuous variable is. Uh, let's move to these three uh, measures of consistency in, um, what's the word? When you are dealing with continuous variables. So let's have some kind of definition that will greatly help us and guide us. So minimum is the least or smallest amount or quantity possible, attainable, you know, or required. Mean is a single number that is taken as a representative of a list of numbers. So it's like a, it's representative and it has, in, in statistics it's called the a measure of central tendency. It just shows us average. I'm sure I've heard that, what the average age is, what the average impression is, you know. So it just gives us a sense of a representation of a group of people. That's what it does. But maximum, just like opposite of minimum, is the highest or the most, I mean, greatest amount possible, attainable, or required. So uh, this falls back to what we had mentioned, domain knowledge. What is the minimum age of that any human being can have? What is the minimum age any human being can have? What is the average age? What is the maximum age possible? These are things that we had already discussed in the previous lesson. The next one has to do, let me give an example, uh, with human temperature. The minimum human temperature should be about 36.5. And the maximum, I mean, the maximum 37.5 and the mean is about 37. So this is what I, I got. But if I'm wrong, please put it in the comments. Uh, this is just my research. I'm not a medical person, but I guess that is what I found. So that's the minimum possible that you find for human temperature. So when you find in your data something lower than the minimum possible or something higher, then you are worried you know, and asking yourself how these things can be. Is there a problem with the measuring equipment? Is there a problem with um, all the other stuff that uh, that is required? So let's look at another example. Let's look at an average month in all the months possible. You know, as I said, I walked all the days of the month and he said he walked, you know, 27 days. You know that the minimum possible is 28. Now, we may also have an argument for working days. You know, you subtract Sundays and Saturdays. And someone said, I worked every day of the month. And what he's reporting as worked every day of the month is 10. That's not possible, even if you're just counting the working days in a month. So I hope you get it. So, of course, context matters, you know. And someone says, I worked for 42 days in a month. You see how funny it looks like in your ears. So it's back to those things again, context and domain knowledge. You have to have them. So that's how minimum and maximum helps to give us a sense of what's going on. Now let's look at a group of people. This is a teenage club. Now, what is a teenage club? A, teenage, a teenager is someone who is between the ages of 13 to 18. 13 to 18. Now, mean basically means average, and I'm sure you have seen that before. It means if you add up all the ages of people and you divide by um, at 13 to 19, sorry, and you divide by the number, it gives you an average age. So if we had team A, we had an average of 18 team b we had an average of 15 and team c we had an average of 13. 
there are things in this data that have already shown things in the data that have already shown that there is something not really wrong but a kind of pattern now if you add now let's look at team c let's start with team c if you had five teenagers and they were, they were all 13 years old all of them you divide by five you'll get 13. if you had all of them be 14 years old you'll get 14 you know and if you mix it up you'll get maybe between 13 and 14. now we could do the maths in a private session you know and you just try it out so you can understand the maths because i also want to assume that you know the knowledge of maths may not be strong when you are make i mean going for the course like this but what i'm trying to say is that when you see team c like this it means everybody's 13 years old there when you see an average of 13 it means literally everybody's 13. if i see an average of 11 for a teenage club i'll be worried the average can never be because the lowest possible is 13 the highest possible is 19. if you do the averages you will never get 11. in the same way if i see the average age of a teenage club to be 20 then i know there's a problem so the means or the averages they greatly help us to check the health of the data and know what is really going on so team b doesn't have any problem it's right in the middle you know you could have a few 19 year olds there food 13 years old there and like you said mean is like a central movement so it just shows you who is at the middle basically you know and what's the middle age you know so if the middle age is 18 it means we may have a couple of 19 year olds there a probably a couple of 17 year olds there but we cannot have an average of 20. so if you have if you still don't understand what i just explained in this slide please put it in the comments and uh, i will try and address it so that's it basically about means they are very interesting for comparing and they give you a lot of information about about this so i just think i may just do a whiteboard session and explain these numbers you know let's do simple maths without trying to complicate but if you have any challenges understanding this particular slide about the means just let me know so please note those words especially when i do with com com i mean continuous variables as you look at every variable in your data set especially the continuous ones ask yourself is this too high based on context is it too low based on context you understand average days in the month and someone is saying two days you know context it may be correct context it may be wrong so it's very important to first understand the context okay so uh next we'll talk about how we view these things you have started already with the main here so we're going to look at it in greater detail in lesson three where we'll be talking about plotting graphs basically because of this kind of continuous variables we want to be able to visually see them and i'll just give some context in the next lesson so see you in lesson three i hope you have enjoyed this so far